Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Tom Lay. I know it's been a hot minute since I last pushed out a video. I hope everyone is safe and well during these unprecedented times. We are approaching our day or reception day this summer. So for today's long grade lesson is going to be the five things that you can do in preparation for our day. The first thing is academics. With the semester coming to a close, you're going to want to continue to do exceptionally well and finish the semester strong. Just know that if you happen to take AP tests and you do well in those exams, if you get a four or five, that credit will allow you the opportunity this summer during Beast for you to take a, a placement exam. And if you do well on those placement exams, you can then validate that class and actually be put into a more advanced level class or even be able to take uh, your major or elective classes a lot earlier. So it's very important um, to know that that is an incentive to continue to do well, but also recognize that the classes that you're taking right now will be the foundation, will help prepare you for the classes that you will take your freshman year. So keep going strong, keep going hard, and do well academically. Number two is going to be physical fitness. As you know, uh, BEAST or cadet basic training is going to be physically demanding. In the summer, it is going to be hot, it's going to be humid, it is very mountainous in certain parts of West Point. Not to scare you guys off, but just know that there is going to be some uphill terrain. So when you guys are outside doing ruck marches, you're going to want to train in a similar environment. What that means is don't always train indoors, don't always train on a treadmill. Get outside, recreate those type of conditions that you would be at West Point. Be sure to incorporate, you know, some short distance, long distance runs, do some ruck marches, and also focus on the muscular endurance. Actually very similar exercises that you would see on the ACFT as well as the APFT. Just knowing that you're going to be taking that at your time at West Point, if you do it early on and kind of just kind of give yourself a benchmark, you'll prepare yourself uh, much better in the process. All right, number three is spiritual and mental. What I mean by that is just to get yourself in the right positive mindset as you continue to prepare for this summer. It's continuing to pursue your passions and hobbies and things that you love and enjoy, which will allow you to de-stress and reset. It also means spending quality time with your family and friends while you're still at home. And last but not least, remain optimistic because this summer is actually going to be a very fun and enjoyable experience. Number four is preparation. There is a number of documents on your candidate portal that need to be completed and submitted before you arrive on post this summer. It is buying the things that you're going to need on the packing list. I will include a link to a video that I made a few years ago that will have some of the things, but I would just recommend checking out what's on the packing list and seeing things that you need. Breaking in your boots and your low quarters and making sure that West Point isn't the first time that you're putting on those shoes and boots. Last but not least, be sure to brush up on your West Point history and the Bugle Notes just so that you're ready for the summer. Number five is saying thank you. It's a nice gesture to just write a thank you note or letter to really all the people that help you get to where you got today. Your family, your parents, your teachers, congressional staff and representatives, and your mentors, anyone that kind of helped shape this chapter of your journey. They have played an influential role and provided a lot of support and encouragement. A little thanks goes a long way. Just know that these people will continue to support you throughout your cadet career as well as your military career. And so it would just be a great way to just say thank you. All right, well that covers the five tips on how to prepare for this summer. I hope that this helped you guys out. I know you guys might be feeling a little stressed out, a little nervous, a little scared, a little bit of anxiety, but hopefully you guys are excited about uh, this chapter of your lives. I'm really proud of all of you. I know you guys are gonna do exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing you guys this summer. So continue to train hard and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.